Hey YouTube, Matt I'm Roy back again. Well, I had a request to uh, show my home theater setup by a couple people that saw my video on the uh, Polk speakers. Um, so I thought this would be a good day to uh, show you guys how I have everything set up here. Um, I'm by, own, by no means a home theater expert. Uh, my field is computers, computer repair, and networking. Um, so if you guys see something here you don't like, go ahead and let me know because I'm uh, all ears. If I can find some way to improve this setup, I would love to. Well, let's get started. I'll start with the rear speakers. I know I've never actually had a chance to hang this one, but this is my uh, left channel rear speaker. I just usually have it sitting here because I'm usually in the middle or to the left here, and I figure that's a good balance. Over here is my right channel uh, rear speaker. That actually seems to be placed pretty well. Uh, when I'm listening to uh, movies here, it always seems to get the job done. Got to fix a couple of my pictures over here. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and sit down and I'll show you the rest. Uh, next we have the two Polk audio speakers, the front left and right channel. Um, you guys heard these before. These are excellent, excellent speakers. Um, I'm trying to think. I think they handle about 100 watts per channel each. And I'm not going to spend too much time on these because you guys can go see my other video for that. But um, they definitely put out a lot of bass, almost as much as the uh, subwoofer that I have. Right here we have a Yamaha middle uh, mid-range uh, speaker. This actually came with my original home theater in a box. Uh, it's a good quality uh, speaker. For this, I don't think I really need something too high-end because these two Polk audios really take the take over the slack. But, you know, in the future I may look to upgrade. If I find something in the thrift store that I like that I think is a better quality, I might switch it out. Next down here, we have my Yamaha. Uh, so powered subwoofer, and yes, it is powered. It has a separate plug, and there's a switch on the back that I can turn to uh, make it louder or softer. And right above that is my uh, network switch for the computers over here and the one by the closet. Um, again, this probably isn't this isn't the highest quality subwoofer, but it definitely gets the job done. I mean, when you look at I'm in an alcove that's probably no more than five or six feet wide. It's more than enough for this. And now for the piece de resistance. Yes, I know. I know I'm French. <laughs> Here is my receiver. This is an Onkyo. It's actually a 7.1 channel, but I use it in 5.1 mode. Gives it a little more power. Um, let's see, get the model down there. Focus. If I can get her to focus here. It's a little dark. I don't know if you guys read it. It's a model TX SR602. This is a really nice find. I actually got this about uh, two or three years ago when my uh, Yamaha receiver went out. Um, I was so disappointed because I really did like that. I mean, again, it wasn't the highest quality one, but it definitely got the job done for me. I actually found this about a week later at a garage sale, and would you believe it or not, it came with the original box and even the original remote. Check this beast out. I mean, this thing is heavy. This thing weighs all, got to weigh at least two or three pounds. You can see Onkyo here. has a lot of different features. And again, I'm sorry, I know this won't focus in closely. I don't have the greatest lighting here. There you go. You guys can pause this if you want to read it. This is an RC590M remote control unit. Let me try to turn the light off real quick. You guys might get a better thing. Yeah, there we go. There you go. And like I said, this thing is definitely a beast, and it works perfectly. Right now, I don't have anything plugged into it. Stand by. There we go. Now, for this receiver, 
I paid the lofty sum of $10. That's right, guys. I, I couldn't believe it either. I even double-checked with her. Uh, it was actually an older lady, so I wanted to double-check with her son, who actually owned the receiver, and I wanted to make sure that price was right because I couldn't believe it, and he said yes. Uh, it was incredible. So basically for $10, I got the receiver, the remote, and the original box, and even the original instruction manual, which... I'm not. I don't. I'm not sure where that is, guys. I, I know it's around here somewhere, but you know it's kind of a mess right now. Um, yeah. So that's about it. That's my home theater setup. Um, if there's anything other, uh, oh, let me let me go over how I have everything uh, hooked up real quick. Um, the computer here, which is the uh, it's a Dell Core Two Duo. This is actually hooked up via. Um, I'm trying to think how this one hooked up. Oh yeah, this is SPD, or this is actually optical cable, um, fiber optic to the stereo. Um, and then I have the box and the uh, Blu-ray player hooked up using uh, digital coax cable. Let's take a minute to talk about that real quick. Um, they both carry a digital signal, albeit the coaxial uh, cable actually carries it in an analog. It's an analog cable which carries a digital signal, which was always kind of confusing to me, but it, it sounds fantastic. As a matter of fact, I actually think the coax cable has a slight advantage over the um, optical cable, and that's just because of shielding. The cables on the, the, cables on the coax are thick, thick, thick. The ones that you get with the uh, digital audio are just really thin, and they don't have any kind. You could tell they don't have any kind of shielding. So once in a while, when I have the computer on, I'm using the digital uh, connection. I notice that one sometimes there's a little distortion. Um, it'll actually cut out once in a while, and two, there's a lot of lag. Like the lips will not always sync up properly with the with the sound and the music. Um, but when I'm using the regular uh, coax digital, I don't have any of those problems. And the sound quality, at least in my opinion, is just as good. All right, guys, so that is it. That's my uh, home theater PC setup, <laughs> including the... Um Oh, excuse me, including the receiver itself. Um, I'm going to do a separate video on the uh, ho my home theater PC itself, because um, I've had some requests specifically about that as well. Uh, so stay tuned. That video will be coming very shortly, probably right after this. Until then, catch you later, everybody.